I'm sorry, but that version of myself does not wear sweatpants with lint all over it. And that is what I'm currently wearing right now. And that is what I continue to wear outdoors. Hello everyone, welcome. Oh. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Let's just jump right into the tea, girl. Let's just jump right into the video. I posted a how to be plus size and confident in 2021 and y'all really liked it. And then I posted a part two, which y'all also liked, but now I'm gonna give y'all a part three. How to be plus size and confident and how to become that girl um, you know, plus size edition. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? Uh, so first and foremost, a first thing that needs to be discussed is you need to realize that the girl that you are trying to be, the confidence that you're trying to have, the vibe that you're trying to carry, you need to know that you already have that. If you're trying to have that visible confidence, you need to realize that you are already that girl that, that has that. You just need to figure out how, how to tap in. So we about to we about to break it down. We about to break down how to tap in to that confidence. My first tip is, okay guys, my advice is very harsh, I think. It's very realistic, it's very harsh, it's very hard to hear, but it's the truth. So let's get into it. Tip number one, stop feeling sorry for yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. That whole like, oh, you know, I'm a bigger girl. I get made fun of, been there. I'm a bigger girl, you know? Not everybody thinks I'm attractive, okay. Not everybody thinks smaller people are attractive. You know what I mean? You cannot, if you wanna move forward in your confidence levels, in the way you think about yourself, in the way you feel about yourself, you have to let go of that, I don't wanna say victim mentality because 100% we, that's a whole nother video, okay? But if we put that aside, if we focus on trying to gain confidence, trying to increase your confidence vibe that you give off, you really are gonna have to stop identifying with that I'm less than mindset because there's no way you're going to be confident in yourself if you're holding on to being less than as part of your identity, you know, or being treated badly as part of your identity. So first things first, you're gonna have to cut Cut it, cut the oats. Write it down, write down all the things that happen, girl. Write it down and let it go. Because moving on, we no longer identify with that. That was a different version of me that you believe. You know what I mean? That was a different version of me that you call fat. Uh, uh, leave me alone. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't that girl no more. You need to have the same energy. You need to carry the same energy or carry the same vibe, you feel me? Second tip, now that you've let go of your old, you know, identity, confidence is not only in the way you look. It, it doesn't always stem from, you know, confidence in the way you look. I always say, y'all know this, I'm very big on self-awareness. I'm very big on, you know, really knowing who you are on the inside. Like knowing your soul, knowing your mind, knowing your heart. That, that is the fundamentals of confidence. That's the fundamentals of anything in life. But we're talking about confidence, okay. What are some of the qualities of that confident version of yourself? What does she think like? What is her mindset? How does she think? How does she carry herself? You know, what are her re what are her respect levels for herself? Something that I feel like can really help you out with starting to build that inner confidence is really outlining, you know, I swear by Pinterest. I swear by Pinterest, you know, pictures speak of a thousand words. So if I have a, a picture of a girl who, you know, is working out and stuff like that or whatever, Lord Jesus, me no know, but you guys know what I'm saying. Get an idea, write it down. Compare the confident version of you to who you are 
now. For example, something about me that I realized to become that girl, that version of me, to become that confident, you know, thick mamacita, I really needed to re-establish some boundaries because that was something I didn't have. You know what I mean? So I really had to realize like, you know, I want this confident version of me to have boundaries. Cause boundary, ooh, I'm about to speak a word. I'm about to get deep. But this is just an example to show you that confidence goes Whew, way further than just how you look, girl. But let me tell you. For example, I didn't really have boundaries like that. Like, I am such a nice person, a little too nice, let people, you know, do this, do that, do that. But something I realized is that I needed a little bit more boundaries. Even something as simple as setting boundaries for yourself, knowing, okay, this is something that I don't allow myself to do. This is something that I do allow myself to do. This is something Something that I don't allow other people to do to me. This is something that I allow other people to do to me, that I want other people. You know, you really need to set clear boundaries for yourself. I don't know how to explain the connection, but even something as simple as having a boundaries like, oh, you cannot treat me like this, or you, or I will not treat myself like this, that already gives you like unconscious reassurance. I don't know what words I'm using. An unconscious reassurance that, you know, I'm somebody that is special because there are certain things you can and can't do around me. There are certain things I can't and can't do, period. Like, I won't allow myself to do that because I'm that girl. You know what I mean? Something as simple as setting boundaries in your life, it, it reassures your confidence. It pulls your confidence up a notch because I'm that girl. You can't talk to me like that. <laughs> Sorry. Third tip would be to feed yourself. Nourish yourself. And when I say this, I mean feed yourself with positivity. You have to create a specific environment for yourself. If you're struggling with the way you view yourself, if you're struggling with your confidence levels, if you're struggling with, you know, becoming the higher version of yourself, you have to change your environment. And I don't mean physically. I mean, hey, physically, look, the room is a mess behind you. The room is a disaster. But mentally, you know, my mental environment is well fed, honey, has not missed a meal in the last few months. Personally, strong believer in God, 100%. Y'all know this already. Something I love to do is watch sermons, feed my environment. The older I've gotten, I'm 22, I've realized that I have this obsession with women. I've just this obsession with with women and like women who are doing womanhood well. What do I do? I subscribe to women who I feel like represent the higher version of myself. I also recommend reading, y'all know if you guys, if are you subscribed, like reference and things that you should know about me. Like sub, hit it, hit the button, wherever it is. Thing is just, ooh, if you start your day, end your day with positivity, you need to feed yourself positivity constantly so that your mind is naturally in this positive, confident, refreshing space. Last tip that I have for inner work is to detox. So you fed yourself, now it's time to detox, girl. Go to the bathroom, let it all out. Unfollow the people that do not help feed that positive feeling. If you go out with your friends and listen, I know a lot of plus size girls go through this. If you go out with your friends and you feel invisible, you feel less than, you feel out of place, like you don't belong, top, go out with them people there. Why do people feel the need to play music while I'm filming a video? Back to what I was saying, detox, detox, detox. If that is how you are feeling when you go out with your friends, girl, you need to find new friends. As hard as it is in our adult life, it needs to be done. The more that you become that girl, stuff like this becomes so easy. Like, and we are not even going to talk about detox. Stop talking to that guy. 
Stop talking to that guy. Stop talking to those guys. Ooh, 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 even better, stop talking to those type of guys. Yeah, let's get into it. Even when it comes to your dating life, you need to detox that too. If the man you are speaking to does not respect you are better than that you need to detox in every area social media your real life your fake life your social life all of it so I have a few more tips something that I noticed has really helped me with my confidence it's really been helping me within the last few months honestly is looking at myself a lot more as superficial as it sounds and right now I'm looking at myself creating this and the more I and I watch my own videos I'm so sorry I'm one of those girls I will watch my video ten times over same way how we watch our stories a thousand times I will watch my own YouTube videos a thousand times but anyway looking at yourself taking more pictures taking more videos taking more stories even if you don't post it and you just keep it for yourself it, it really does help like I don't know it helps see yourself like okay but she kind of cute like hold on invest in yourself yeah if you can try to invest in yourself like yourself invest in yourself buy yourself new skincare products buy yourself new clothing items buy yourself a new bedspread buy yourself a new toothbrush buy yourself a new makeup item you know what i mean like just investing in yourself spending money on yourself and i don't mean on your bills on your you know i mean make sure all those things are handled yes but invest in you like spend money on you spoil yourself this is why i will always be kind of like a fan of buying coffee because it's just like yes like i get to walk into a store and get my coffee made for me i get to pay for my coffee and i get to treat myself to a coffee that tastes better when they make it not me so just little things like that definitely helps feed into your confidence because it reminds yourself like you know you are worth new things you deserve fresh items new goods last tip that i have is something that i've mentioned before but it's also something that i am going to start working on even more and that is dressing or looking how you want i've noticed that about myself like oh child <laughs> Like, I really don't mind showing skin and stuff like that, which is usually the dress how you want topic when it comes to confidence and being plus size. But sometimes it's even just like changing up your wardrobe, period. Like, investing in better clothing, knowing how to better build a wardrobe. I am really trying to step into that higher version of myself as well. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I'm doing a whole little series over there and so follow me on TikTok. But I really am trying to become that version of myself and I'm sorry, but that version of myself does not wear sweatpants with lint all over it. And that is what I'm currently wearing right now. And that is what I continue to wear outdoors. And it's just like, no. That's not helping me. That's not helping my confidence. That's not helping me step into that version of myself. So I'm going to invest in better sweatpants, invest in better quality basics so that my outfits just come together more, that my outfits just look more seamless. Like really invest in your wardrobe and invest in how you want to look like physically too. Like if you wanna get your hair done more often, do that switch up your hairstyle switch up your nail vibes definitely pour into your outward appearance as much as you please okay guys so that brings us to the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this I don't know we was just really talking today I didn't really have much to say but I still had something to say you know definitely on the vibe of becoming that girl you guys will see in my content to come in my upcoming hauls I have a package on the way in my upcoming hauls you guys will see I'm starting to shop a lot different I'm about to clean out this closet I'm about to really step into that higher version of myself that is more confident that is more you know that girl so I'm so excited to 
to take you guys along on this little journey and I hope these tips that I gave you today helped you with your own journey whether it's gaining more confidence or you know becoming that girl yourself that you envision yourself to be so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in my next one bye